Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll teach you how to do this, how to sculpt a metahuman face and body in a blender. First thing we need to do is create a new metahuman, so we do this from scratch. So we're going to right click, create a new metahuman. thing that we need to do here is just simply export the sections of our metahuman separately, but we need to be mindful and make sure that we are applying a skin first to our metahuman. So first step, we switch this, we have a skin, so when we export the separate pieces, it's going to export it with an actual skin. So now that we have this, if you want, you can do any sculpting or work here manually before you export, if you want to have some sort of base idea of what you're going to do with the sculpting tools here on Unreal. If not, if you want to do everything in Blender, MetaHuman Character, Export Face Skeletal Mesh, MetaHuman Character, Export Body Skeletal Mesh. And that's all we need to do here in Unreal for now. So new MetaHuman Character Export Face and Export Body is we're going to export these as files, as FBX. So right click Export, New Body, everything by default. And we're going to do the same thing with the Face Asset Actions, Export. Now we're going to go into Blender, into our empty Blender. We're going to import those, the ones that we just exported. So those were New Body and New Face, everything by default. And we're going to get this, and this is great. Now we can hide the um, controls because we're not going to be using them. So once we have the face and the skeleton and we've hidden the controls on the face and we can do the same thing for the body here on Blender, we just need to install one add-on before we continue on. And then this is the add-on. Now you can pay zero for this if you can. And if you have the money to do so, maybe just give this creator some love here and give some bucks for the add-on. If not, just go ahead and hit zero there. And once you have that add-on downloaded, you're simply going to go into Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, click on this little drop-down and install from disk and obviously lead it to wherever that add-on is on your disk. And then you need the second file that I showcased in the description. And that second file contains all the pieces of the base metahuman from a previous iteration of Unreal. So in this case, we have all of these. So you're going to find a MH underscore base body, and you're going to find the body, the head, the left eye, the right eye, and the teeth. And what you're going to be doing is you're simply going to drag the body and the head. And if you want to do any modeling on the teeth, you are going to be using the teeth too, but you just drag and drop, import them with the base values, and that's all we need to do here. So now that we have that, we need to go into the following step. We need to go into the Blender head, the original head, and we need to make sure that we separate the actual head from the rest of the parts that we have here. So we need to enter edit mode, and in the material section, we're going to go and find MI skin head. Click anywhere so we clear that selection and select. Once we have that selected, Control i for inverting, P for selection, and separate by selection. Once we've done that, that means that now this head is separated from the eyeballs, the teeth, and the eyelashes, which is exactly what we want. We're going to zero it out. We're going to shift H to isolate, and we're going to do a very quick sculpt on it. If you see that it's, uh, it's all blacked out, try and switch the modeling here, or you can go into the rendering here, or you can go into the drop down and switch from MatCap to Studio. Again, just very quick, dirty job here because we just want to go through the process. A couple of things to keep in mind. These things here will translate into Unreal, and there's no way of fixing this. This is normals because of the geometry that cannot hold more topology than this. You cannot enhance the topology. So if you're a savvy sculptor, you can do magic with normal maps. But just so you know, if you stretch it too much and the normals start breaking, you'll start seeing that kind of behavior. Another thing is that it does work and it does support extreme uh, destruction like this. Just keep in mind the same thing. The more we destroy it, the more the geometry is going to start breaking. The textures are going to adapt because this will be done through UVs, so that's not a problem. Another caveat, the mouth. We need to modify the mouth uniformly. If you do it non-uniformly, it will break the teeth. And if you want to change the type of teeth, you're going to need to bring in the teeth from the folder that I gave you. Let's focus on this and Alt-H to bring back everything that we hid. So, the magic happens here. We need to click on the head mesh that we brought in from the file that I uploaded and that I gave you, which is an old MetaHuman from 5.5, the base model. And we're going to go here into data, 
mesh data transfer, which is the action that the new add-on gave us. And we're going to go for the source and select the mesh that we just sculpted. And we need to change the search method to active UV. Once we've done that, we can hit transfer mesh data. And we're going to get things like this. We're going to get this couple of problems. Problem number one, the scale. So once we've done the transfer mesh data, we need to make sure that the scale is 0 0.01 on all axes. That scale now mimics perfectly the original. Shift H to isolate. Fix problem number two, enter x-ray mode up here, go into edit and select the two or three vertices that are going off into the distance. Once that's selected, go into vertex, smooth vertices, and then shift R to repeat that process until those vertices line up where they should be. Right click on this or export this as an FBX. So selected objects, and this is gonna be LEM face 102. That's the only setting that we need to care about, export. We're gonna do the same exact process with the body, but the body does not need to be separated. The structure here of the body or, or deformation, we don't really care, this is just for the purposes of demonstration. And we're gonna go modeling, Alt-H, bring back the original metahuman body, and we're gonna use the same thing. But in this case, we're gonna go for the body, active UVs, transfer mesh data. One thing I forgot to do when we exported the body, and okay, the body is going to go back to 0 0.010. When we exported the face, I forgot to do one thing, and this is a step that I forgot. We can't leave the scale on 0 0.01, so we can, with the body selected, object, apply, scale. Now we can export that body. We're going to go for alien or alien body 102. And we're going to re-export the face so we don't have the same issue. So first we need to apply the scale. And then we're going to export. That's it. That's all we need to do here in Blender. Let's jump back into Unreal. Let's create a new MetaHuman. And before we do that, we need to obviously bring in from our exports the files that we just exported. So Alien Face 102 and Alien Body 102. Drag and drop into Unreal. Default values are perfect. And once we have those two loaded in here, we now are going to go into our new MetaHuman. We are going to go into conform for the face, go into template and find alien face 102 and hit conform. And there we go. And we're going to do the same thing for the body. Conform from template alien body 102 import and we got it so this works everything fits correctly it works with animations i've tested that and it's looking great we can switch to the skin view so we can take a look at the textures there is stretching obviously because we went uh, a bit extreme with the changes here just keep that in mind as you're working again you can still rework this by fixing the stretching later on this is just how to get the sculpting going. And one important thing is going to the head and check the teeth. We did some slight modification to the mouth uh, and it did work. We can go back, let's go back into Blender and let's do, now that we have the head uh, conformed, we can continue sculpting on the head. We don't need to, to conform every single time. So what we'll do is we'll do a more extreme modification here. So you see what I mean by these changes need to be uniform. So we're gonna make it bigger. And the important thing is that the teeth are going to be in here. So you probably want to enlarge the inside too, just in case. So let's try this with this extreme change here, export, and we're gonna bring it into here. So alien face 103, and we can import it with default values, and we can now conform to alien face 103. And if we hit conform, we'll see that now the mouth changed. And if we go into teeth, you'll see that the deformation starts crunching. So jaw open or jaw close. The teeth did uh, change their size, but you gotta be very mindful of what you do with the mouth because these sort of deformations start happening. That's the only thing that I noticed does a lot of deformation. The other thing is if you change the eyes too much, they will maybe not close when you're using live link. So keep that in mind. So you get something like this. So keep in mind the caveats here deformations not too extreme. This one has uh, uh, the teeth were modified in MetaHuman Creator. These were not modified 
in Blender. The, you can change the color and you can change all that. The tongue, you can change the color in the textures outside of um, MetaHuman Creator. The eyes were changed in MetaHuman Creator. The size of the eyes were sculpted and also you can change them in MetaHuman Creator. And things like this where he doesn't really uh, close their eyes at all. That might be because of lighting on my camera setup or you need to push the eyelids a bit closer in your sculpt that might be pushed out too much and it doesn't reach the end. That's the way of fixing that. So that's it, how to sculpt a metahuman for a hybrid alien humanoid form in Blender.